isn't actually that big, it's the hay bales that make it look good. Yeah, it's actually not that fantastic. It's like someone with a big knee. I spy. Oh, let's put it there. No, let's put it there. Spy on there. Spy. My fungly eye. Something beginning with T. And it's outside the car. The trees? No. Tea bags? No. Tires? No. Tears of No. We eat one though. Truck? No. It's cheap? No. Terrier? No. <laughs> you can eat it? No, I am it could eat the tennis court. You're very close when you say pterodactyl, except it starts with a P. No, no it doesn't. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I always thought it started with a P and then a T. Well, maybe. I don't know. Someone should tell me in the comments how to spell oh, pterodactyl. I'm not understanding. Well, you're very Tractor. close. No. <laughs> Tractor, pterodactyl, same thing. Yes, that's right. Tiger. Tiger, nearly. I think the next letter is R. That was my favourite, favourite, favourite lolly shop ever. I remember you'd give me a dollar and I'd just spend all of so many lollies there because lollies were cheap. I have absolutely no interest in entertaining, sir. Well, why, Your Honor? Why? Because I want you to answer me this question. Judge Judy continues in a moment. Want to be on YouTube? <laughs> That's it. So, why is it attached? Is it a rainwater that they would have got a drink and put it under there? That's how they would have got a drink. But then they'd have to stay here until they'd finished it. Uh, so, it's a historical cup. So, we're currently at the Land Development Memorial, and there's some kind of interesting things here that a lot of people like to take note of when they're in Keith. For example, there's a car on a stick. It's just hanging out in the air on a stick. I think if it was on the ground, it wouldn't be as interesting. But yeah. And then we have these funny hut things that people would live in and you can't go in them. But Yeah. There's one there too. This one's a little creepy. It's got one of those mirrors. I don't know. I don't. I have a thing with those mirrors. I find them sort of creepy. I don't know. And there's my mom. Oh. Yeah. And look, bike riders. That's the road that goes like through Adelaide and Melbourne, and they kind of connect there or something. I don't know. That's what mum told me. There are so many bike riders. Look at them go. Wow. It's like a whole herd. And then behind me is this hockey field that my mum and my sister used to play on. And we'd also watch hockey there, which is cool. It's kind of like how you watch, um, I don't know if it's just an Australian thing, but people line up their cars around the oval and they watch footy in their cars and they honk their horns and stuff. And I think we did that with hockey. So this is where we used to live. 
It looks so, so, so different now. It had trees and a different letterbox with a chain thing. It looks very bare now, but it was interesting when we had it. We're awesome. And across the road, there's sheep. Oh, now there's goats, but there were sheep. And I'd say that I'd run away and live with the sheep. And I only made it across the road and then I came back home because I failed at running away. Look at all the goats. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. There's my Nana's old house. It looks very different now and they've wrecked it. But she was there for a very long time and we'd go for sleepovers there and it has lots of lovely memories. But she doesn't live there anymore, but it was, it was nice. That is the playground that me and my sister walked to a lot and we got into a fight with some kids there. Not a physical fight, but an argumental fight. And we both said sorry and then we lived happily ever after. So this is a churchy building is it a church kind of it's got a big cross on it which you can't see but it's that that thing there and i used to go to this thing called move and groove and i think i was like nine at the time and we'd do lots of dancing and drama things and games and we'd eat cake and we'd play outside and i'm not christian but it was pretty cool and they let me stay there even though i was too old for it after a while and yeah, it's good, good times. So this big patch of green with the buildings is where I went to school for a bit. And the path you can see, that's where we'd do cross country. That's what we did every morning. We'd run around there. And yeah, so this is my school. Oh, and there's people in it. I don't remember that thing being there. There's the boat that we'd always sit in and have fights over. Oh, there used to be a really cool painting with like sheep and magpies and stuff on that building. It was really cool. And where that grass is, there were trees there that we'd fight over and say, no, we grew this tree. And then we'd water it with our water bottles and be like, no, it's ours. Because we, we fed it and we grew it and stuff. So this is a fountain. Water spouts out of that bit. It's a bit strange. And when I was a kid, my mum, her friend, had a dog. It was like a Labrador and it was a puppy and it'd always escape and it'd go and swim in the fountain and it'd be all green with algae and then it would get into someone's car. I think it was mum's car and it'd get wet algae stuff everywhere from swimming in it and then run around Keith wet from the fountain. And I thought that was um, an amusing story to share with you. And where we get chips. I might be getting some. She said she'd get a drink and maybe some chips, so we'll see. That's the part that everyone, everyone, everyone in the whole world likes about Keith and has to experience at Keith because it has this train and you can see the people on it. You sit on it and it takes you and you go and you ride it and it's fun and I take you on it but there's people on it so I probably can't. Oh yay, finally. It's more exciting than what it looks. I promise. They're little kids, so they're doing a crap job. <laughs> yeah, so this road, Pengeli Road, is named after some of our family members, our co cousins? Yeah. I think that's pretty fantastic. So in there is the football oval and that's what I was talking about there with the cars lined up. So they watch football and they toot along when their team wins or something or they kick a goal, I think. I don't know. I don't know much about football but I know that they like to do that. And now there's a fence. Oh yeah, look, there's some more cars lined up around it. And everyone here loves crows. Adelaide Crows, that's our team mm, apparently. This is Keith Crows as well. Keith Crows, oh wow, okay. Are playing a game? Drinking alcohol in the club rooms. Oh, okay. 